everyone, God bless you and welcome to The Good Book Project. Here at this channel, we are doing our Chronological Bible in a Year video podcast. And for today, Wednesday, March the 8th, 2023, we have reached day 67. Yesterday for day 66, we read Numbers 28 through 30, which all included all of the extra offerings and how they were to be given, as long as what festivals were to be celebrated, along with extra offerings for the Day of Atonement, for the Passover, for the Sabbath, and so forth, and all of the different extra regulations that God had put for those celebrations and for the offerings. And we also get laws on vows on how they are to be seen before the eyes of God, and when they can be nullified, and when they will remain true. For today, day 67, we're continuing on in the book of Numbers, in Numbers 31. I will pray us into the word, and we will get right into it. Father God, we just come before you today, thankful that we have another day of life, thankful for the breath in our lungs. Thank you that our eyes are open today. Lord, I thank you that throughout all of this morning, We've been able to focus on your word, and now we will go through your word, Father God. Thank you for that blessing, that we may freely be able to do so and get it out for other people. I pray that for today's word, you give us understanding, and you give us nuance to understand the story a little bit better. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. For day 67, we're continuing on in the book of Numbers, in Numbers 31. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Word of God reads, Numbers 31. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Avenge the children of Israel on the Midianites. Afterward, you shall be gathered to your people. Moses spoke to the people, saying, Arm men from amongst you for war, that they may go against Midian, to execute the Lord's vengeance on Midian. You shall send one thousand out of every tribe throughout all the tribes of Israel to the war. So they were delivered out of the thousands of Israel, a thousand from every tribe, twelve thousand armed for war. Moses sent them, one thousand of every tribe, to the war with Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the priest, to the war, with the vessels of the sanctuary and the trumpets for the alarm. In his hand, they fought against Midian. As the Lord commanded Moses, they killed every male. They killed the kings of Midian with the rest of their slain, Evi, Rechem, Zer, Hur, and Reba, the five kings of Midian. They also killed Balaam, the son of Beor, with the sword. The children of Israel took the women of Midian captive, with their little ones, and all their livestock, all their flocks, and all their goods, they took as plunder, all their cities and the places in which they lived, and all their encampments, they burnt with fire. They took all the captives, and all the plunder, both of man and of animal. They brought the captives with the prey and the plunder, to Moses, and to Eleazar the priest, and to the congregation of the children of Israel, to the camp at the plains of Moab, which are by the Jordan at Jericho. Moses and Eleazar the priest, with all the princes of the congregation, went out to meet them outside of the camp. Moses was angry with the officers of the army, the captains of thousands and the captains of hundreds, who came from the service of the war. Moses said to them, have you saved all the women alive? Behold, these caused the children of Israel, through the counsel of Balaam, to commit trespass against the Lord in the matter of Peor. And so the plague was amongst the congregation of the Lord. Now therefore kill every male amongst the little ones, and kill every woman who has known man by lying with him. But all the girls who have not known man by lying with him, keep alive for yourselves, and camp outside outside of the camp for seven days. Whoever has killed any person and whoever has touched any slain, purify yourselves on the third day and on the seventh day, you and your captives. You shall purify every garment 
and all that is made of skin, and all work of goat's hair, and all things made of wood. Eleazar the priest said to the men of war who went to the battle, This is the statute of the law which the Lord has commanded Moses. However, the gold and the silver, the bronze, the iron, the tin, and the lead, everything that may withstand the fire, you shall make to go through the fire, and it shall be clean. Nevertheless, it shall be purified with the water for impurity. All that doesn't withstand the fire, you shall make to go through the water. You shall wash your clothes on the seventh day, and you shall be clean. Afterward, you shall come into the camp. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Count the plunder that was taken, both of man and of animal, you and Eleazar the priest, and the heads of the fathers' households of the congregation, and divide the plunder into two parts between the men skilled in war, who went out to battle, and all the congregation. Levy a tribute to the Lord of the men of war who went out to battle, one soul of five hundred, of the persons, of the cattle, of the donkeys, and of the flocks. Take it from their half and give it to Eleazar the priest for the Lord's wave offering. Of the children of Israel's half, you shall take one drawn out of every fifty, of the persons, of the cattle, of the donkeys, and of the flocks, and all of all the livestock, and give them to the Levites who performed the duty of the Lord's tabernacle. Moses and Eleazar the priest did as the Lord commanded Moses. Now the plunder, over and above the booty which the war of the men of war took, was six hundred and seventy-five thousand sheep, seventy-two thousand head of cattle, sixty-one thousand donkeys, and thirty-two thousand persons in all, of the women who had not known men by late lying with him. The half, which was the portion of those who went out to war, was in number three hundred and thirty-seven thousand and five hundred sheep, and the Lord's tribute of the sheep was six hundred and seventy-five. The cattle were thirty-six thousand, of which the Lord's tribute was seventy-two. The donkeys were thirty thousand and five hundred, of which the Lord's tribute was sixty-one. The persons were sixteen thousand, of whom the Lord's tribute was thirty-two persons. Moses gave the tribute, which was the Lord's wave offering to Eleazar the priest, as the Lord commanded Moses. Of the children of Israel's half, which Moses divided off from the men who fought. Now the congregation's half was 337,500 sheep, 36,000 head of cattle, 30,500 donkeys, and 16,000 persons. Even of the children of Israel's half, Moses took one drawn out of every fifty, both of man and of animal, and gave it to the Levites, who performed the duty of the Lord's tabernacle as the Lord commanded Moses. The officers who were over the thousands of the army, the captains of thousands, and the captains of hundreds, came near to Moses. They said to Moses, Your servants have taken the sum of the men of war who are under our command, and there lacks not one man of us. We have brought the Lord's offering, what every man found, gold ornaments, armlets, bracelets, signet rings, earrings, and necklaces, to make atonement for our souls before the Lord. Moses and Eleazar the priest took their gold, even all worked jewels, all the gold of the wave offering that they offered up to the Lord. Of the captains of thousands and of the captains of hundreds was 16,750 shekels. The men of war had taken booty, every man for himself. Moses and Eleazar the priest took the gold of the captains of thousands and of hundreds and brought it into the tent of meeting for a memorial for the children of Israel before the Lord. Numbers 32 Now the children of Reuben and the children of Gad had a very great multitude of livestock. They saw the land in Jazer and the land of Gilead. 
behold, the place was a place for livestock. Then the children of Gad and the children of Reuben came and spoke to Moses and to Eleazar the priest and to the princes of the congregation, saying, Ataroth, Dibon, Jazer, Nimra, Heshbon, Elilah, Sebem, Nebu, and Bion, the land which the Lord struck before the, the congregation of Israel, is a land for livestock, and your servants have livestock. They said, If we have found favor in your sight, let this land be given to your servants for a possession. Don't bring us over the Jordan. Moses said to the children of Gad and to the children of Reuben, Shall your brothers go to war while you sit here? Why do you discourage the heart of the children of Israel from going over into the land which the Lord has given them? Your fathers did so when I, went, when I sent them from Kadesh Barnea to see the land. For when they went up to the valley of Eshkol and saw the land, they discouraged the heart of the children of Israel, that they should not go into the land which the Lord had given them. The Lord's anger burnt in that day, and he swore, Surely none of the men who came up out of Egypt from twenty years old and upward shall see the land which I swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, because they have not wholly followed me, except Caleb, the son of Jephna, the Kezanite, the Kenizzite, and Joshua, the son of Nun, because they, had fo they have followed the Lord completely. The Lord's anger burnt against Israel, and he made them wander back and forth in the wilderness forty years, until all the generation who had done evil in the Lord's sight was consumed. Behold, you have risen up in your father's place, an increase of sinful men, to increase the fierce anger of the Lord towards Israel. For if you turn away from after him, he will yet again leave them in the wilderness, and you will destroy all these people. They came near to him and said, We will build sheepfolds here for our livestock and cities for our little ones, but we ourselves will be ready, armed to go before the children of Israel, until we have brought them to their place. Our little ones shall dwell in the fortified cities because of the inhabitants of the land. We will not return to our houses until the children of Israel have all received their inheritance, for we will not inherit with them on the other side of the Jordan and beyond, because our inheritance has come to us on this side of the Jordan, eastward. Moses said to them, If you will do this thing, if you will arm yourselves to go before the, the Lord to the war, and every one of your armed men will pass over the Jordan before the Lord until he has driven out his enemies from before him, and the land is subdued before the Lord, then afterward you shall return and be clear of obligation to the Lord and to Israel. Then this land shall be your possession before the Lord. But if you will not do so, behold, you have sinned against the Lord. And be sure your sin will find you out. Build cities for your little ones, and folds for your sheep, and do that which was, has proceeded out of your mouth. The children of Gad and the children of Reuben spoke to Moses, saying, your servants will do as my Lord commands. Our little ones, our wives, our flocks, and all our livestock shall be there in the cities of Gilead. But your servants will pass over, every man who is armed for war, before the Lord to battle, as my Lord says. So Moses commanded concerning them to Eleazar the priest, and to Joshua the son of Nun and to the heads of the fathers' households of the tribes of the children of Israel. Moses said to them, If the children of Gad and the children of Reuben will pass with you over the Jordan, every man who is armed to battle before the Lord, and the land is subdued before you, then you shall give them the land of Gilead for a possession. But if they will not pass over with you armed, they shall have possessions amongst you in the land of Canaan. The children of Gad and the children of Reuben answered, saying, As the Lord has said to your servants, so will we do. We will pass over, armed, before the Lord into the land of Canaan, and the possession of our inheritance shall remain with us beyond the Jordan. 
Moses gave to them, even to the children of Gad, and to the children of Reuben, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, the kingdom of Sihon, king of the Amorites, and the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, the land according to its cities and borders, even the cities of the surrounding land. The children of Gad built Debin, Ataroth, Aor, Atroth, Shofa, Shofan, Jazer, Jogbaha, Beth Nimra, and Beth Haran, fortified cities and folds for sheep. The children of Reuben built Heshbon, Elilel, Kiriathayim, ne- Nebu, and Baal Meom, their names being changed, and Sibma. They gave other names to the cities which they built. The children of Machir, the son of Manasseh, went to Gilead, took it, and dispossessed the Amorites who were therein. Moses gave Gilead to Machir, the son of Manasseh, and he lived therein. Jair, the son of Manasseh, went and took its villages, and called them Havoth Jair. Noba went and took Kenath and its villages, and called it Noba, after his own name. Thank you, God, for your holy and precious word. We begin in this passage with the Lord telling the children of Israel through Moses to take vengeance on the Midianites for what they had done before. So the Lord instructs Moses to go and take Midian and strike down all of the men in battle. And they do. And they take plunder of the war therein for that time and divided it up between all of the children of Israel and set off the portion for the Levites who do the Lord's work at the tabernacle. And we have the separation for all of the different villages and how much they took. And they took a lot of stuff. Like, we were reading the numbers, like 600,000, 300,000. That's a lot of things that they ended up taking when the children of Israel overcame the Midianites. We also have the story of the children of Gad and the children of Reuben who wanted to settle where they were at before the Jordan, before they went over into the land of Canaan and Moab. And this angered, this told called for Moses to tell them that if you stay here and you will not fight with us in the promised, the for the promised land, then you're angering the Lord and He might possibly make us wander again even more. But if you will fight with us all the way, every man of your tribes eligible to fight in the war, and you do, then we will give you this land back here because they had a lot of livestock and the land that they were at was very fruitful for the livestock to prosper. So they wanted to stay. But Moses said, you could only stay if you promise to go into the land of Canaan and fight with your other tribes, your other brothers, the children of Israel, to make sure we're fulfilling God's promise that this was the land chosen for all of them, not just for some of them. And if they were to fight with them, then they would be given the land in which they were promised. And then the children of Gad built cities, and the children of Reuben built cities as well for their livestock and for their women and children to reside at while they go off to war, off to go take the land, promised land, full of flowing milk and honey. Day 67 is complete, and I'm so happy you made it out today. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notifications for every time our podcast goes up. I will pray this out of the word for today, and we will go throughout our day. Father God, we thank you. Thank you for giving us March 8th, 2023. Thank you for letting us go through your word just another day. We are so ever grateful. Humble our spirits that when we read the word of God, we are really intaking and trying to understand, Holy Spirit. I pray that we live within the will of God today in his perfect will for our lives. We live with his blessing, filled with the love of Jesus Christ inside of the Lord's protective hand. I pray blessings over everyone who has heard this message, and I pray that God uses us for his glory. Lord, you can do all things. 
We bless the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Day 68 is tomorrow, and I hope you return for it. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. Peace.